guys so today I'm going to show you my daily routine and putting on my makeup it's a very natural day type of makeup so if you want to see want to learn and see what products I love using keep on watching okay so let's start with a primer so I have nothing on my face before the primer I put on oil like a face oil it's a noni oil actually that I just discovered recently then after a uh, oil I put on a moisturizer after a moisturizer I put on um, SPF sunscreen sunscreen is very important you know that and for my primer if I use foundation have Too Faced, the hangover one so it's yeah it's very good it's actually very hydrating for the skin because I have very dry skin especially during winter I have the driest skin which is really really not good again guys I have very dry skin so when you use products it doesn't mean that I use this product it would work for you as well because everything depends on your skin type so you should know that that is step number one before you buy products skincare or makeup you have to know which skin type you are i have a very very dry skin so what i found out that's really good for me and had and a foundation that has really worked out for me so well is the makeup forever um face and body water-based as well um the only thing is they discontinued this so i don't know there's still a bit in sephora in the city here in sydney okay so i put it first in here on my hand use a foundation brush i don't really put a lot this is very light my skin i always have a pimple here and i always get it when it's my period after this foundation i put on some concealer underneath the eye so i've been using this maybelline fit me which is very very good this fit me concealer is as good as the nars um is it the Radiance Concealer? I think this is like a very good drugstore um, version. So with a damp um, beauty blender, I blend the concealer. Um, I actually like using this beauty blender. Quite, it's a bit pricey to be honest and um, it has the same if you're looking for a drugstore a cheaper version of this the real techniques is very good um, I actually use it sometimes when I run out of it dab and dab it and it will blend I have a darker version darker shade of um, that concealer and I put it on the this side of my mouth just because I have like an even tones how do you explain it like dark pigmentation on the side of my lips <laughs> After that, I use a powder. So the best powder for me to use after using a foundation is I have two types of powder. If I use a foundation, I use this. This is the best. It's a very fine powder. No color powder of RCMA. Um, Ooh, 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 that's too much. If 
I don't use foundation and use my usual MAC Studio Fix. My shade is C4. So I know everyone has like NC35, NC40, and I found out that this is a bit yellowish, so it's really good for Asian skin. And then next is eyebrows. Okay. Eyebrows is very important because it really frames your face. I use an Anastasia Brow Wiz. If you've noticed, my eyebrows is a bit really is a bit light. I like bleaching my eyebrows. I don't know if some of you out there bleaches their eyebrows, but I like bleaching my eyebrows because it's it's easier. It's light. It's really light, so it's easier to draw on. So if it's dark, like it gets, my eyebrows get really dark because I have like dark hair. This is my natural hair color here. So it gets as dark as that. But when I draw my eyebrows on, oh, it's so hard. Fill in the gaps or be more defined. Start in the sort of in the middle or the 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 third part of your eyebrows. That you have to be really it has to be really strong and defined that area. But this should be more natural. So that one I just spread it out with a spoolie, the spoolie brush at the tip of these. Look at the difference. This is how I do it. So there's there's a lot of technicalities when it comes to doing your eyebrows, but it's like measuring it. Maybe I'll do it in another video, like teaching you how to do your eyebrows. So you know who did a video that explained it so well? Selene. So if you're from the Philippines, you know who Selene is. If you're not, just Google her. Whether I do something or not, whether I'll just be a bum at home or go out, I have to do my eyebrows. I don't know. Let me know if you're the same. Okay, I think that's... let me just check myself in the mirror there you go after I use or do my eyebrows with that I follow it up with a so with Anastasia Beverly Hills it's a brow gel um, this is good as well I just um, I've been using this for maybe since I started doing uh, using the Anastasia eyebrow pencil I've been getting this as well. Um, another good eyebrow gel is the MAC. Um, it's a boy girl. It's very good. And if you want like a drugstore brand, this, the L'Oreal. L'Oreal Brow Art. This is very good too. Let's see. I don't. Look, I don't really do eyeshadow. I don't know. It's either I'm lazy or I just don't like doing eyeshadows. Only, only when I have a special occasion or an event to go to. But that's very rare nowadays. Since I moved to Australia, it's very rare. Only like birthdays or Christmas or whatever. But I don't do my... I, I don't do eyeshadow. I just do mascara. Let's see. So sorry to those girls who are here and wants to know and learn how to do eyeshadow you are gonna get it from me because i don't do it now it's time for 
my contour so this is the best shade for me for contouring and that's me and that's for my skin tone so I use the Charlotte Tilbury film star bronze and glow this one and it has like to obviously I use this a lot I use this every single day so this is a shade that I use for contour and this is a, hi a highlighter this is very good highlight as well try to suck in it has to be like a, like a number three it has to be continuous because if it's gonna be like just like that let's see it's not gonna look natural at all I use just my fingers to put like um, a nose just to contour my nose I don't really have a long nose I don't use the Charlotte Tilbury. I have also Too Faced, which is a chocolate sleigh or something. It's also a very, very good color. So, anyway, yeah. It's more like natural. And then I use a blusher. So my blusher is, look, it's been, it's really old. I like this um, Benefit Coralista. Um, I th but I think the best blusher for me, like that suits my skin tone, is the Nars Orgasm. It's very, very good. I really like the color. Um, I think it's everyone's favorite. There's also another Charlotte um, blusher that I like, the Charlotte Tilbury Tilbury Cheek to Cheek, Cheek to Cheek. So this is a very good color as well. It's more like pinkish. Um, next, I of course use highlighter. Highlighter is my favorite. I think it's the best invention. <laughs> it makes your skin really glow. So even at the end of the day, your skin has a shimmer that's really... Oh, I actually have this shimmer already. Mm, mm, mm. But yeah, the best for me, the best highlighter for me, aside with the Charlotte Tilbury one, is Becca Becca champagne pop this is my favorite just look and see oh you can already there's already like highlight in there oh you see oh you see oh see and then I put it at the middle of my nose my cupid bone bow I don't know Cupid's bow or something <sighs> all these terms next is another thing aside from my eyebrows one part that I really really need to do during the day and is very essential is eyelashes so because I don't do eyeshadow for me eyelashes makes my eyes open I've been using the Shimura eyelash curler and it's I have used it for years and it's been working really well but I really wanted to check other eyelash curlers so I tried the Surat this is very good the only thing is the black rubber you can't replace it you have to buy a new one and, but very good very good quality so now I tried the Kevin Aqua did I say it right? yeah this one so if you see uh, yeah, that one. Um, this is very good as well. The good thing with this and even the Surat, just one press. Even the smallest hair at the sides get really curled. So now it's time to do mascara. Okay, I'm weird because I use three types of mascara. I know, it's too much. 
but each of them has their own function all right so just bear with me i i like this is this has been my all-time favorite this is a maybelline i don't even know it's a yellow one i don't even know glam black oh this is a shade it's a maybelline um and it's waterproof all right so i use a waterproof as the first coat okay the reason why this has been my favorite and why i will never exchange it with any other high-end mascara it's because it's the only mascara that keeps my lashes up so i curl my lashes right and then i put on a mascara some mascara just tends to make my lashes go back to its position to its normal position before curling it so this one this one from maybelline is the only one that works i use another mascara which is the l'oreal hmm shoot i don't know what it's called but it's a black one it's car it's called the shade is carbon black but this lengthens my mascara my lashes so i just put it and last but not the least <laughs> i don't know don't ask me why i use three types of mascara is the two face better than six look why do i use three mascaras why don't i just use one why did i just use this or why don't i just use the l'oreal or why did, just alone only because they have different purposes so the mas the maybelline one keeps my curl up the l'oreal one keeps it longer and this one like volumizes it next is the lips um i use a lip liner so my favorite is max lip liner sorry it's a lip liner um the shade is sore so and then lipstick I'll show you two favorites. My daily shade is Mare by MAC. It's a matte lipstick. But I also like for just like a light um, shade. I like Charlotte Tilbury's Pillow Talk. So I want it just like light. This is a really good formula. Charlotte Tilbury has very good lipsticks Wait, let me answer oi bobs oh okay oh, hey what are we having for dinner um we'll get something no, pizza right. let's have pizza i know you mm, like pizza good. Mm, okay i love you bye i love you bye i think that's it did i forget anything no i didn't so this is my everyday look um i hope you learned something that's very light that's um natural looking you know it it just really emphasizes my features so um it's always nice to look around other youtubers beauty youtubers and just look and see what they do and maybe try it for yourself and this really works with mine. I hope you learned something today. And see you in my next vlog. Bye.